Actor Liam Neeson has been quoted as saying, Ireland is not a safe place for women. Imagine that country in the 1930s, during the worldwide Great Depression. Men in these cities were losing their jobs in the factories. Men on the farm sustained a 60% drop in crop prices. Yet this is where a brilliant female inventor, Charlotte Keppel, made a breakthrough in physics. The Physics of Seeing into the Past Charlotte Keppel was once a public figure in Ireland. Newspaper archives chronicle Charlotte's lecture at the Dublin Royal Irish Academy. Keppel, an early disciple of Edwin Hubble, was fascinated by the length of time it takes for light to reach the Earth, meaning that a distant star actually appears to us as it was millions of years ago. She discovered a new kind of radiation, a form of wave whose properties were similar to those of light, with one important difference. The speed of light is one foot per nanosecond. The Keppel wave travels much more slowly, at the rate of one foot per year. If a device could be constructed to see these waves, and one was to aim this device at an object from a distance of one mile. One could see it as it appeared more than 5,000 years past. But Charlotte had more than a theory to back up her claim. She invented the chronoscope, an optical apparatus that could see history as it was happening. The Academy was unimpressed, until presented with black-and-white film clips, which were recordings of scenes from antiquity. Meanwhile, in fascist Germany, the leader was looking for ways to gain more control over the people. He also needed to create a new mythology of the superior Aryan race, whose duty was to control the world. Reich's minister, Josef Goebbels, began a propaganda campaign in which Charlotte Keppel was induced to bring the chronoscope to Germany. The scientist was greeted personally by Hitler. She worked under archaeologists who would chronicle the victorious battles of Aryan prehistory, in which the legions of mighty Rome were defeated by Germanic tribes. Keppel pointed the lens of the chronoscope at the dark interior of the Teutoburg forest, focusing on the year 9 A.D. But Goebbels would be more than disappointed in the result. Although she was successful in capturing images of the Teutonic tribesmen, they did not have blonde hair they did not have blue eyes. And when they captured alive any Roman soldier, the enemy was subjected to such barbaric methods of revenge that the footage could not be used for any decent propaganda film. In the end, a young officer representing the ministry was accidentally electrocuted when he attempted to shut down the massive generator needed to power the chronoscope. Just as the Nazis burned books to repress free thought, at a factory that manufactured steel, the chronoscope itself was melted down by Goebbels' order. To keep her quiet, Charlotte Keppel was thrown in jail and scheduled for deportation to an internment camp. While awaiting her transfer, she made good use of the tools at hand. She stripped her bed of springs, winding them into a Tesla coil, using as a power source 
the light bulb socket in her cell. She overpowered two guards by discharging the coil, and with one of their weapons, she successfully escaped captivity. The female scientist then disappears from history. In the years following the fall of the Third Reich, thousands of former members of the National Socialist Party fled to the safe haven of Chile, Brazil, and Argentina. Ironically, it has been speculated that Charlotte Keppel escaped the reach of her captors, also by emigrating to South America.